Okay, and recording. Hey you guys, Cat McCann here with my delightful husband, John. How y'all doing today? So, continuing on with the theme from our last video, we go more out of country stuff. Smash. That like button in the face. Cute. I try. So, again suggested by my friend Me 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 Art. <laughs> me 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 Art. Uh, first thing, and I wanted to be sh sure. I see France, and I know I saw. Also, yep, Norway. Want to make sure. Good on you for knowing the capital. Yeah. So, yeah, we're No gonna... sarcasm, I, genuinely. Well, I try to learn some things. I have an idea about where my friends are from. So, anyway. Before we continue, you forgot, a, you forgot a name in the last video. Oh, um, right, the Joker conversation. Um, the, uh, Harley Quinn show that was on the DC Universe pay channel, but now they moved it on to, like, the, what's the HBO pay channel, whatever it is. They're, like, Netflix ripoff wannabe. Um, yeah, the voice of the Joker on there is voiced by one of those people that, like, you, like, you hear his voice, but you, like, never know who he is until you realize, oh, wait a minute, it's him. It's Alan Tudyk. And he's a pretty good Joker. But whenever I see him, because I'm like, wait a minute, I know that voice. I know that voice. Is it you? It's Tudyk! But I really love the guy. It's just, it's always fun to just flail in anger when you see his name on something. I mean, he was a freaking chicken in Moana. He was a chicken Moana. He was the Duke of Wesselton in Frozen. He's Duke Weaseltown <laughs> in Zootopia. <laughs> yeah, man's got a sense of humor. You should definitely see him in Firefly and Serenity. His portrayal just gets you right here. Really? Yes. Anyway, we're going to try some smash. Let me smash. He killed me. Alright, so, wow. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is going to be fun because, unlike in prior situations where it's like, Oh yeah, no, it, it's totally, it's all in a different language. And you can't, you know, don't bother actually looking. No, straight up, I'm actually going to have to work it to look at this one. Nutritional facts. Per 100 grams. And then per the portion, which is 25 grams, a portion. Um, 100 grams, I assume, is... How much is what's in here totally... No. Alright, um, let's see, going by the per 25 grams, calories, one, ah, 130 calories, um, 8.2 grams of fat, with 4.2 grams of saturated fat, um, 13 grams of carbohydrates, of which sugar is 9.7 grams of it. Help me. No. <laughs> protein, 2 grams of protein. Protein. I, 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 not my head. Ah! And uh, 0.22 grams of salt. Help me. No. No one will help you. Ah, it's up there. Dang it. And that's about it. You mother fudge dick! <laughs> Watch Hamilton. <sighs> Watch Hamilton and then go online and look for the full version of the Adams administration. Oh, the rant. It's. Woo! If you want to see someone rant about someone else, it's it all melted together, didn't it? It melted a lot. I could feel it while I was messing with it. But you can still eat it. I don't know if I want to. Just try. 
It looks like we've had something like this before. It's called bugles. Yes. <laughs> now my nose. <laughs> smells to smell it, now you know. Try Sniff to eat it. it with your nose. Smell it and, not, and eat it. Yeah, it's got it. Smells pretty good. Smells like chocolate. Sweet, salty, and crispy. Mm. Now, normally, I do like foreign chocolate more because it's a little sugar. The problem is with a little less sugar, it doesn't counter the salt nearly enough. So it's saltier. So I will say this. I wish we'd had these back when we did the bugles several videos ago. That would have been neat. So I could say this hmm. unequivocally. I like the bugles more. Ugh. It is a little too salty for me considering the, the chocolate, but... You know what? It's always worth a try. And I just had a really salty piece. Drink your water then. I did. It's stuck on the back of my tongue. Mm. So, I don't know. Because it was also melted, so maybe some of the chocolate that would have been on each individual piece got melted off and maybe not nearly as sweet as should be. Like, holy cow, that's a chunk. You look like poo. You look like a poo. It's very looking like a poo. I mean, considering we live in Vegas where it's hot. Where it's hot, hot, hot. It melted and it looked like a poo. <coughs> so. No. Okay, that had a little bit more chocolate. It wasn't too bad, but, um, I don't know. Maybe if I had it when it's not melted, maybe it would taste a little better. But at the moment, I will pass on it. But, you know, it might work for other people. You know, because there's plenty of other salty people that like the salt. Are you done? Next. Okay. I'll be done when the taste is out of my mouth. <sighs> okay, so my friend, same one, had told me this. Me, 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 me art. This is the equivalent, that they're equivalent to a Mars bar. Remember in one of the videos we done that we did actually review a Mars bar? <laughs> yeah, and guess what? It was a Mars bar. Shock. This is called Jap. Or Jap. I, I, I mean, once again, it, it says international. Flip the flat. It says it is milk chocolate with cocoa meringue and caramel. Cocoa meringue. That's what it says. All right, that sounds different. Well, she also said that it's equivalent to a Mars bar, only better. Oh, is it now? <laughs> is it? Well, then guess what? You better hope it is. Oh, really? Because you know what? Otherwise, she's going to be the only one eating it. What? Wait. Like I was going to threaten your friend? Come on. I know you wouldn't. You but, times, but, times, but sometimes you could be extreme. Please, silly. Thank you. It's what I do. Hmm. All right. You didn't even want to try and read the. Nope. They yeah, broke apart into two bars. Hmm. Probably because they melted together a bit. Yeah. Um. Looks like a Mars bar. All right. All right. Ready.
Actually, I like that better. Meringue, code word for nougat. But it's cocoa. Yeah, it's chocolate nougat. It's a Mars bar. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just a Mars bar. I'm so sorry. But it tastes good. <laughs> tastes like a Mars bar. Okay, for people that's never had a Mars bar, you could describe whether you actually like it or not. Oh, I'm not a fan of it. No, not at all. There you go. See, I didn't know that. You just said, it's a Mars bar. I pointed out the last time. I'm not a big fan of Mars bars. It's a Mars bar. I'm not a big fan. Mm. I pointed out the last time we had a Mars bar. But no. Pika wife knows everything. Pika, Pika. Dump this water on you. Jalisa would be proud of that. Yeah, Pika Chica would. Anyway, oh. I liked it. Luckily, it came with two more bars when I ordered it, so I got two more bars for me. Yay! And in all seriousness, I really wanted to have liked Smash. I was kind of interested in liking it too, but... <sighs> but maybe under different circumstances, if it wasn't so melted, it wasn't so hot in Vegas... Like, seriously, hold on, give me one second here. To give you a hint of just how ridiculously hot it is here, well, it is currently on the Fahrenheit range. Fahrenheit range. I gotta be. I gotta you know. Gotta keep it real for my out of the country friends and her out of the country friends. It is 106 Fahrenheit. To change that, you got 41 degrees Celsius. It is 41 degrees Celsius out there, people. Now, granted, we're technically kind of used to the heat because we're born and raised here, so... I could wear jeans out there and not bat an eyelash. In fact, you did wear jeans today. And I wore my maroon... I wore dark pants, so... We're accustomed to the heat. The chocolate is not accustomed to the heat. Chocolate melts at 70 Fahrenheit. So, it, it only gets really hot to us once it hits past the 110s in Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Mm. Suck at California. <laughs> really? I think they have their own heat wave going on right now. Yeah, it's called a fire. Please be safe. Please. With all that said... Far too much, if was, you may ask. You may say. Far too much said. And you're the talkative one. Not in these videos. Like I said, we really wanted to like the Smash one. I had kind of hoped that he would have liked the, these ones a little bit. It's a Mars bar. But, on the upside, I like this. And if I ever end up getting an another one of these that wasn't melted... <laughs> try to order it in, like, December. Yeah. I'll try them again. I am willing to try them again on the fact that these were melted, so it lost some of the chocolate on them. So it is not a proper example of how the food is supposed to be. Therefore, we would be willing to try them once we get into colder months. <coughs> yep. So, with all that said, if you want us to try other things for these videos, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when these come out, click that bell and make it ring. Until next time, you guys, bye. Have a good day, everybody.